how you holding up, baby? I'm getting tired. I've been sick for the whole past two days. It's starting to get a little better today. Uh huh. Um, but our van ride is taking way longer than expected. What van ride? What are you talking about? <laughs> our van ride to Sydney, Tempe. Um, we were supposed to get picked up at 8 o'clock. We got picked up around 9 o'clock. Uh -huh. So it took us, it took us like three hours to get to and out of Guatemala City. Now we're at another rest stop. We probably have at least seven hours to go. We still have a long way, baby. It's gonna be a long day. Yeah. And the van is completely packed. We are in yeah. the last, last row. Again, just like we were when we came back from Atitlan. But we'll survive, hopefully. So, this is a room at Eco Lodge. This is where we're staying for three nights in Semuk Champe National Park. And here's the route down to Semuk Champe. Today we are gonna go swimming in some beautiful crystalline waters. See what it looks like, see what it feels like. And we'll be sharing everything with you. We are tagging along with a group of folks who are staying at our hostel. Hey darling, how much longer till Semuk Champe? Two kilometers. Yeah, it's really hot out here. Here we are really out there right now. You can kind of sense it. it took us a very long time to get out of Antigua. Oh, we made several stops along the way, and finally, 12 hours later, we made it to Lanquin. From there, uh, we got picked up by a truck, and they took us over to our hostel. We were pretty exhausted at that point. As you can see, really the only way to get around here is in a pickup truck or some sort of Jeep. These are these roads are not for the faint of heart. And we are about a 20 or 30 minute walk from where we are staying down this beautiful, beautiful backcountry road. Yeah, a lot of people stay in Lanky, uh, but then you have to take kind of like a 4x4 four four truck out to the New Champe. But we're staying in the actual park. So it's like a 30 minute hike into the, into the park. And here's the gorgeous view we have. Oh, we got a little bit of traffic jam here. Meg, watch it. Sí, perfecto. Tú hablas inglés muy bien, amiga. Thank you. If you want, if you like a beautiful letter, my name is Mary. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel, nice to meet you, Gabriel. Gracias. Gracias, Mary. Adiós. So this is the bridge into Semuk Champe. Watch your feet. Don't fall into one of these holes. Oh. All right, we are at Semuk Champe. We made it. What a walk that was. That was a hike, man. So, oh, 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 mangy dog, huh? So if you arrive at Samu Champe and you've worked up an appetite from that really long walk, it looks like there's a very cool outdoor market out here with all sorts of meat grilling and whatnot. After a grueling 45 minute hike, we have made it into the park. It's only 50 quetzales per person to get in. And now we are walking towards the pools to go swim. As with most things in Guatemala, we have found that things, in a th <laughs> things are a little bit further out than you think they are. It's good though, it's good for you, challenge yourself. The anticipation is building. <gasps> Ooh, don't slip, Megan. <laughs> And that is where we're headed. Bienvenidos a Semuk Champe!
So after some snorkeling and swimming around the lower pools here in Samuk Champe, we were told that if you walk up this beautiful little path through the jungle, you can actually see where the river, the Cha Bahon River, uh, kind of pours underneath the limestone at much speed. So we're gonna go check that out. It's really beautiful out here. It feels super remote. Um, there's really not that many people out here. Um, it's not a super big built up place. It feels like it still hasn't yet been touched by the tourist industry too much. Um, it's really, really amazing. It's really crazy to think that we are way out in the middle of the jungle in Guatemala right now. So we've now reached the top of the Semuk Champe natural pools. The signs over here say that this is the dangerous area, you should not come swimming in here. And this is called the Sumidero. That's because the Cabajon River actually goes flowing underneath all of the limestone for about 300 meters with great pressure. Sometimes the water flows over the limestone, but over here is where it actually gets pulled under. You can sense the water is moving pretty quickly over here. There's some water pressure underneath us. And you can hear it all like a huge waterfall over here. For obvious reasons, no swimming over here. It's just a little bit upriver from where we were just at. Wow, look at that. And I almost fell, but I'm all right. Look at this, Megan. Oh my God. That will get you in a second. Just the sheer power of nature, unlike anything I've ever seen before. Well, we kind of found this little path on the way back to the entrance, and we could hear the rapids of the Cabajon River. At the top, we saw how the water at the Sumidero went underneath the, ro the rock for 300 meters. And that's kind of like the beginning. We went swimming for a little bit. We wanted to come out and see where all that water goes when it comes out the other end. Wow! Here's where all that water goes. Want to go for a swim? Not, not here. I don't think we'd come out alive. But wow, the beauty, the power, the mess. Think we're going the right way? Oh gosh, I don't need that. All right, Meg's in charge now, so if we get lost in the Guatemalan jungle forever, it's her fault. I'm a great target. She's a survivalist. I mean, we could survive out here for weeks. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> she loves bugs and critters and all sorts of jungle beings. Yeah, Meg loves bugs, didn't you guys know? The more the merrier. She made a little cockroach in the bathroom last night. She had a great time. We shared a meal, had this conversation. Mm -hmm. His name is Billy. She loves roaches and spiders the best. She said so. So we're getting some nice country cooking here. Outside of Samuk Champe, where all the vendors are. And you know, it's always a little bit of a look to get something vegetarian, but we found some stuff. Some rice beans, some, some tortilla some potatoes, and a little homemade salad, and a coconut to go with it, why not? We are waiting for this pickup to get filled up so that we can get our cheap ride back to our hostel. We didn't really want to walk, it was kind of a hefty walk in, and we're feeling kind of tired from the swim. But looking at the date, today is November 6th, that means it is exactly one month since we arrived in Guatemala, today. Woohoo! What are your one month reflections, honey? Mmm... For me, Guatemala has been a country of undiscovered wonders. Everything we've done, everything we've seen so far, I've just been amazed by. For me, Guatemala has been much more than I could possibly have expected. 
I've been to much of Latin America, but I've never experienced anything like I've experienced here. Things are deeper, things are maybe a little bit trickier, but things are ultimately so rewarding here than you, much more than you'd possibly expect. Mm -hmm. A must visit country is Guatemala, a special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get... Not, not hiking back. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit better than hiking. Oh man. Mañana nos vamos a las cuevas. Bienvenidos a las cuevas de Capa. Today our plan is to go into the Kamba Caves and we're also going to go see a waterfall. Uh, we have about uh, maybe one hour or so until the tour group leaves. Uh, so we're going to go check out the waterfall right along the Cabajon River. Um, here's a piece of advice. You don't necessarily have to book these tours through your hotel. They're probably marking up the price. If you come down to where Semuk Champe and where the Kamba Caves are, you can just pay the, the, the tour guides directly and you'll get a small discount. Afterwards, we're hoping to also do some tubing down the Cabajon River. They say you can go swimming. I, I, I trust them, but let's see. Wow. <laughs> it's like an infinity pool in the middle of nature. the little rope over here. A very narrow path to get closer to the waterfall. Gabe's already over there. Hey beautiful. Yeah right it's not that bad. So I bet you, you can jump from this spot into the water, but since there's no guide out here right now, it's only Meg and I, I'm not going to be doing it without someone saying that it's been done. Maybe if another group comes and I see people doing it, I'll give it a try, right? But we'll see. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a rapid right there. I, I don't think I'm going to hop into a rapid unless uh, I see someone else doing it first. caves now. The thing is, uh, inside the combat caves, there's actually a lot of water. We're going to be kind of swimming in the caves. So from now on, you might not be able to hear us speaking so clearly. We'll try our best, but we will be putting the camera in a waterproof case.
got it, love. You got it. Just don't burn your can't don't burn your hair. Thank <laughs> you. 